There's going to be a launch at 11 a.m. We're going to launch private right. citizens up into, well, it's a five-bedroom house, folks, and it's where the aggrieved go to one end of the house and the others are at the other end of the house. Ed, these astronauts today, these private citizens, are going to fly up to a right. Russian-U.S. spat. How ugly is it? Correct. It's pretty ugly. I mean, I spoke to Kathy Leaders yesterday, Associate Administrator for NASA, who put a pretty brave face on it. But the reality is that because of the conflict in Ukraine, war in Ukraine, space tensions between Russia and the United States are not good. You have a situation where you're sending four private citizens up to the ISS, three of which paid $55 million a pop for a seat. And I asked Kathy Leaders essentially, well, will they go and visit the Russians? And she said, it, probably, they might have dinner, for example, at the Russian half. But how it stands currently is that the Russians cosmonauts, three of them on board the ISS, would have to extend an invitation to these four private citizens in order for that to happen, which is a strange state of intergalactic affairs, Tom. <clears throat> One of the great niceties of our early NASA programs where we had military and then an odd duck named Neil Armstrong yeah. are the people of Russia and U.S. astronauts on ISS. Are they all military? They're astronauts, and NASA has this very firm view that, that there's peace in space. And they mean that literally, that aboard ISS, whatever's happening here on Earth, that doesn't happen. I mean, the, the tension comes from here on Earth. Uh, Dmitry Rogozin, who's the head of Roscosmos, the, the Russian space agency, said on Saturday, for example, that the economic and trade sanctions on Russia are so bad that if the US does not ease them or withdraw them, then Russia will pull out of the ISS, an agreement that's been in place since the 1998 IGA. And behind NASA, Russia is the biggest financial contributor to ISS. NASA contributes about $4 billion US dollars of taxpayer money annually. Russia's not far behind. But the greater concern is if we did get an escalation, Russia could literally pull out of ISS. In other words, undock their modules from the station. And what's worrying about that is that one of the key mo Russian modules of ISS actually provides the propulsion, the thrusters that help ISS reorient to its 250 mile altitude above Earth. So it's serious. But as I said, NASA officials I speak to are putting on a pretty brave face.